swapping out the um, worn front brake pads on my 2017 Ford Mustang GT. Just going to go and jack it up now and get the wheel off and um, we'll get cracking with it. Alright, so these are Brembo six piston calipers, um, meaning that there's uh, three pistons on either side that squeeze the pads in, one, two and three, and on the back four, five and six. So basic setup. Um, today I have to get take that pin out, that pin out, because they're the retaining pins um, for the brake pads. I also have to take this bolt out um, and then all this whole fascia bit, all these tension plates um, come out as well. And hopefully I'll be able to slide the pads out that way and um, install the new ones. So, first of all, I just want to show you the new pads. Absolute way a ton. So these are the new ones. Check those monsters out. Comes with a backing plate on them already. Happy days. And these are from DBA. Um, see if you can see that in the light DBA extreme performance. So they're one up just from a street version. You can be used. These can be used for like track days and stuff like that. Let's make a start. We've got a good old brake cleaner. Tie these pad and these um, calipers up a little bit. So let's get cracking with this, eh? Uh, let me just make each other away. Let's see if we can tap these out first. Sorry about the lawnmower, guys, but making a bloody racket up there. So I'm just going to give this a little tap. There we go. So, tap this one out, and I'll get a smaller one to get it through the hole and get it all the way out. so it'll be easier to pull out the back. So that's the bottom pin put there. That plate comes out and that's set like so. Now there's an up arrow there so that's got to face upwards. There's nothing on the bottom one. No, okay, all good. So we'll just place that one like so, how it came out. And that's the top pin out. Pretty sturdy pin. Good stuff. Alright, so now we need to get the 13mm on the back there. All the way. That's okay. There she is. So there's the bolt goes into the back and here's the pin like so right now wiggle these pads out a little bit okay so that's that pad and the tab here was at the top so the new one then has got to be the same sitting at the top all right cool and there you can see where the pistons have been engaging the pads just round pistons three on this side three on the other side oh, not too bad the pads i mean they are down let's compare with groove through here bigger pad as well 
you can see these ones stop here, I'll get extra pad through here and also through here so hmm, I will replace them though otherwise I'm just going to be back here in 5000 k's and replace them, these things just kick off so much dust as well, it's crazy so, um, alright so that's one pad done out anyway one over there So, see all the dust inside there, gathered up. Okay, this one doesn't have a tab at all. Okay, so that'll be interesting. So I'll just check the packet because I pulled these ones out together, and that one's got a tab at the top and tab at the, and that one's got a tab at the bottom. I'll just check the other ones. Where are they? There they are. these ones they don't have any tabs at all okay so tab at the top and one no tab that's one set of pads and no tabs one tab at the top no tabs on the back one and like so so let's see if we can get these suckers in So we've got them both in there, all right. That's not too bad. Just going to slide them out like so. I'm going to put a little bit of paste on the back where the pistons are. And we'll do the same on this one. trick I learned here, uh, this pin before you put this plate back on uh, with the arrow up, this one's got to go in first, sneak that one through like so and then it's got a locating lug so that secures it, just put the nut on loosely on the back, yep, put a bit of thread lock on that as well and I'll do that once I've tightened it up. I'm just going to put that in lightly, like so, and then arrow up, tuck that one in underneath there, like so, bend this one down. fiddly. There he is. And then we'll tap him through. Yep. We've got tension on them through the pins, through the pads. Yep. Alright, so now put a bit of Loctite on this one.
So that's the left hand side done on the six piston Brembo disc brake. Pads installed. All looks nice and secure. Pins are all in. That one's tight with a bit of lock to it. Yeah, now I'll just repeat the process on the other side. All right. So on the right hand side of the car, the tab on the outside pad is at the bottom. On the left hand side it was at the top. So looking at the new pad, sure enough, down the bottom. There we are there. There they are down the bottom. Okay, so note to self. There we go, all right, let's um, jump in. Let's make sure we've got pad pressure. Yep, got pad pressure, happy days. So there we go, front brake pads installed on my 2017 Mustang GT. Not too difficult, a um, little bit messy, but um, otherwise, yeah, no, it's pretty straightforward really. As you saw, I pumped the pedal as well to make sure the pistons go against the um, against the pads nice and evenly, and they're ready for action. So I guess I'll wrap this video up here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up for me, much appreciated, and um, hit the notification button as well. A little reminder comes up on your device saying that a new video has come out on Red Match 1970. You guys have a great day today, and um, we'll see you on the next video. Good on you.